Here. Not this I don't think Bruno would die with you either, to be honest. No, Bruno would take a bullet. He told me last night in bed. The, uh, it, the, like, uh, I've been fooled. <laughs> a BB gun bullet. I've been fooled. <laughs> That's as far as I go. Okay. Not a hollow point. BB guns there. hurt, man. Yeah, they do. yeah but... Uh, I got shot by a BB gun before. I mean, compared to the alternative... Yeah, of course. Invoker. Invoker. What do you think? Invoker. Is Invoker good with uh, PA? Because you have Lacrity the PA? Yeah. Dying excellent Invoker, Dying. Excellent invoker yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's strong. Anything that really gives the hero... What about Skeleton King? Oh, Skeleton I think it's going to be support. Yeah. I think it is carry Skeleton King. You think it's carry? Yeah, wait, Wraith King, sorry. Wraith but King. against like Marana and Clockwork, I think PA actually has a lot easier time sticking to these heroes than a Wraith King would. I mean, he could obviously go blink, and then they could like Sunstrike, Wombo Combo, you know, yeah. that would be nice as well. I guess you could argue both. We could, we're going to see, though, if Cloud9 wants Ten to run in his carry, run in his support. But Rock's Kiss have a, a nice lineup as well. I think Wraith Kings typically, Five like, they will remaining. build BKB, but it's not until a very, like, late item, like fourth or fifth even. You kind of want to take damage. Yeah, you, you kind of want to be the one to die. Yeah. The only thing that's a little bit worrisome is if you get your mana burned by, like, cogs, which won't be max level for ages. So you probably don't have to worry about that. The stick usually gives you and mana as well. Rock's Kiss have a team that is very Templar susceptible Assassin. to uh, to magic damage so far. And they're actually going to pick team a battle. Templar Assassin. So honestly, if I were Cloud9, I would just go aggressive right now. I would just say, put the Invoker safe lane against the Clockwork, Wisp, Wraith King plus one tri lane, Darkseer mid. Sounds legit to me. Yeah. No problems here. Ten good seconds Quas remaining. Wex. Invoker is pretty good in this game as well. I really like Five it against the if you're going remaining. against them. I think no, Darkseer goes mid. Iron Shell, where yeah. you at? Yeah. You can actually kill Reserve TA as well, time. like as Darkseer. Yeah. Depending. And the other thing is, too, um, if you go aggressive and Rock's Kiss goes safe lane, which we don't know yet because we haven't seen their second support, remaining. then there's a pretty low probability that you're going to be, like, trying to help the TA mid. And Five Evoker smashes remaining. Clockwork in the safe lane. Like, there's not anything he can do. Dire and then the uh, Darkseer should do well against the TA. You but might lose the tri lane, but that's. The only thing. Is any of the teams concerned about <laughs> not going... Not a big thing, you just might lose the trial. What's that, Bruno? Is any of the teams concerned about going aggressive trial? Because I think the Darkseer is going to be happy if there's like an AA and Mirana for now. Depends Ten on what the second remaining. support is. Yeah, That's exactly. going to decide and, basically and what... Right now, against a Wisp and a Skeleton uh, King, he can die. No one's banned Dazzle. No, yeah, he could die. To a Wisp, uh, Wraith King? Yeah. Again, we have Reserve to see the other support. Yeah. you got to keep in right. mind that Invoker is going to be a part of that Sunstrike Arena. Still, you just pop clocks and walk away. Yeah, it is very hard to kill the clockwork. Radiant team and I think picked. that that was, um, after you, they saw the Wisp, they were just picking, anticipating maybe, you know, maybe they just dual lane mid, who knows? Like, Wisp is enough to zone a Templar Assassin, to be honest, just on mm. his own, because you mm -hmm. can eat the refraction very fast. They could still Darkseer off lane, invoke her, and pick another kind of like hero who could go to the jungle, and it's going to be a uh, Shadow oh. Demon. Dial so, some going to hurt. Yep. Yeah, I like Shadow So now they can definitely kill the Clockwork if they say Flame Tri yes. like for sure. Very easily. Because yeah. even if you get a Cog off, if you get disrupted before the Cogs, they're going to completely surround you anyway. And the then if you disrupt after the Cogs, the Cogs don't do anything. Yeah. Well, SC is also very good at uh, eating through refraction during the mid game. Just poison basically eat through two charges. Well, you just disrupt the TA. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then the refraction's gone, basically. Pretty solid though. We'll see what Roxkis want to do. I think this is going to be pretty indicative of what lanes they want to run. Because They're quite squishy at the moment. Reserve time. What, Rock's Kiss? Yeah. I'm not too sold on Wraith. Both teams are a little bit squishy. I mean, Wraith King and Darkseer are relatively tanky. Um, Clockwork is obviously tanky in his own I right. I think Wisp makes people tankier than they seem as well, though. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Overcharge. So. And just the ball. Uh, I'm really them. concerned about Wisp and Shadow Demon personally because there are two heroes that. I mean, Wisp kind of has burst if you can put the balls you properly, it, yeah. but it's not reliable. And normally when you see Shadow Demon, you see like something else that like will pack a hit. Like a Lestrak, like Lina. a Lina, like yeah. a Lion, like something that has a little bit of extra damage. And Wisp, I don't think it really provides that. They have that. Invoker for the damage though. They have the yeah, and they have the, the Wraith King stun as well that yeah. will bring a little bit of damage. But bring back old Mortal Strike. That was so good. It was brokenly good. I mean, good. I think Wraith King is no, already two good buttons, enough, right? Two yeah, buttons, yeah, it's pretty good. Too much. That was so good, anyways. Oh, I think... Oh, never mind. I saw somebody DC'd and I thought it was uh, Verizon drafting, but it's not, because BZZ's drafting. Do you think that Rock's Kiss will have issue going Does around scare. the Wraith King? Ooh, oh, that was good. That was good. So boy. maybe not. That may be going around the Wraith King. True.
Go through him. Well, so, I, Tusk. Okay, I'm gonna just say this, right? Tusk, we saw him yesterday against Fine, the Darks here. Yep. Today's the same thing. It's Fine. just gonna be one of those situations that you just they have to clump up with your team. They don't have the same AOE stuns. Meteor and uh, me Meteor definitely blast. Okay. That's that's a lot. That's that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Like literally, okay. that's it. Well, I kind of like this. I don't hate it, at least. But is it an aggressive lane? I mean, I guess it kind of has to be, right? I mean, they could. I, because I, okay, okay. Let's say for the sake of argument that TA is mid. If Rocks Kiss did a defensive lane, they would be roaming with a Tusk and an AA. With for a TA, which is Ten not great. Yeah, for a TA is not great. Until the Tusk gets level 2. I guess it kind of has to be. It's actually I mean, not too bad. What if, Five like, the AA remaining. doesn't jump in the ball, just, like, uh, cold fit on the Tusk ball secures the... I think you need to jump in the ball, otherwise it moves so Well, slow. you just, like, throw the cold fit and jump into the ball. No, don't think about Kofi here. Think about Chilling Touch and Ice Vortex with, that sh with the Ice Shard on top of that. Okay. They're not moving. Mm -hmm. And everybody's hitting hard. Yeah, that's a good I point. think it works fine. The problem with this is, it's really hard to initiate on the support. Because... One support could tether away, away from Snowball. The other support disrupt. could disrupt. Yeah. So I just feel that I'm not sure whether I, I think Tuss is a good hero to pick. In you this just situation. like him. Mm -hmm. No, I think he's great. He but just... It wasn't. Not in this situation. I think he's a situationally good hero. The niche pick. You think if you could turn off the Snowball, like cancel it during... Holy the, shit, oh, that would be OP. It'd break the hero. Yeah. It, would, it would break the game. Game literally broken. Speaking of broken, Galblack is not connected to the game, so we're waiting on him. Okay. I really like their banners. The rocks, guess. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Yeah, he's just like staring at the ground, contemplating life. It's like, what have I done? Really, really drunk, look. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I don't know where I, I can't stand up, boys. So much yesterday. <laughs> oh no, not more Dota, boys. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. That's fine. Tuscar is a heavyweight though. He doesn't. He's not even phased. Oh, look at him. He's looking to them eyes like they've seen some years. <laughs> they've seen <laughs> some he's things. from the north. Yeah. King of the North. There's dangerous stuff up there. Beautiful. Look, yeah. he's giving us the nose thing. It's kind of cool. Nice mustache as well. I ask my would be proud. Are they like whiskers? Do you realize that there's a possibility to see Ix Mike in TA4? North with America. North American or, no, sneaky, no, sneaky Nix Assassins. Yeah. The name, they need to work on their names. <laughs> no, it's a great name. I, li I like the North American Rejects name, but the... Let's see. Well, I like the Sneaky Nix play a bit more. Hmm. Is it really a Sneaky Nix, though? No. No, not at all. Okay. Do they mean, pick Nix? Is it like isn't no that Tide like Hunter? false advertising, then? Yeah, no Tide Hunter. They didn't ban Tide Hunter at first. They just ban every... No Earth Spirit never picks Earth Spirit. Well, there's a thing called No Earth Spirit? Yeah. It's not in Captain's mode. Well, that's the joke. Oh. Hilarious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once it comes into Captain's mode, they just change your name or something. No Brew Mother. <laughs> We're away a bit of place. Alright. You know, Brew Mother is a hero that people always ask me is viable, but I'm like, no. all heroes are viable, man. Brew Mother is really good now. Like, yeah. the, the poison on the spiders does so much damage. I mean, th there's a difference between not liking a hero and saying that it's not viable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like Broodmother, but I think she can be used. I'd go mid on Broodmother against someone who doesn't have, like, wave clear. Like yeah, Invoker. like Invoker, for yeah. example. Yeah. This is the five-man snowball strat. I think when you pick Tusk, this is like something that is always going to be anticipated by the other team. Mm -hmm. Like, look at where Cloud9 are right now. They're like, yeah, we're not going to go anywhere into the woods. Screw that. We've seen Tusk, we know what he can do. I think even if Yola's out of Terran this year, he can still die because it moves so fast. Well, th that means it gives your team a huge advantage in terms of what you could do in the early game, right? Like setting up these wards. Like, I think even if the enemy team had Luna and maybe Ancient Apparition, would you go into the. It's like, hey man, we could just jump on you and kill one of you instantly. I mean, you can definitely do that. But. Rocks kiss. Um, I think they're actually going to get dual lane. I think uh, Kylo Dai is just going to hang around mid and just be a nuisance to this uh, this begins. TA. So we talked about aggressive lanes. We talked about the potential for a dual lane and maybe some pulling, depending on if uh, they can get the right creeps for it. Yeah, I have a computer. Yeah, I think Envy's going to have a tough time. Uh, is how the laning situation is going to end up to be because it's going to be offensive tri lane. Obviously, Shadow Demon's going to stay back and disrupt. 
At the same time, though, I don't think Wraith King is that survivable early on, especially with losing one base armor with a new patch. Yeah. Literally taking a ton more damage. Yeah, I think it's, um... It's a pretty free kill, especially if the Tusk is level 2, because you can't really disrupt that gank. You know what I mean? Like, if they snowball in, you get stunned. I think snowball is a very short stun at early levels. And then you're basically, like... Yeah, you're basically disrupting, what, for two and a half seconds? Mm -hmm. And then by that time... The rest of the team is already caught up to you, so how do you stop it? Because you can't disrupt a snowball. They, they see uh, Yo here. Wisp is uh, rotated to the bottom. You think getting a Quelling Blade is, is the right call in this scenario on Skeleton King? Well, uh, it's nice for tower last hitting, but... Otherwise, like, getting a little bit more regen might make him more sustainable in lane. But it also depends on how well he controls Dyer's the creeps, because like right now he's just like using tower. aggro tricks to pull it to his tower. And Pilot Eye is getting hit by a walrus. It's pretty terrifying. Not great. He has an axe. Oh, 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 oh. Head away! Get away, my friend! Nice. Oh, he's arrow. Arrow. gonna tether into the arrow! Oh. Tether! No! Pilot oh. Eye! Oh, he's not fine. Alright, first, first blood in the tri lane. Not fine. Not <laughs> Yeah, they missed um, his ward as well with both of the sentries. Literally rip. Yep. Rip in pieces. Can a ball of energy be in pieces? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Maybe caught by the ice shards here. Can he eat a cold feet, but no real follow up. They use chilling touch, but. Uh, you do not mana for the. Team level one, actually. I would say that it is constantly in pieces, and the energy do you get some stick together. It's like the Schrodinger's ball. Regeneration. Schrodinger. I just went over your head, guy, right now. Shane. Mm -hmm. okay, no, you said Schrodinger. I, I, yeah. <laughs> but I did go over your head, so fuck you. And so Pilot Dies decided that he's like, yeah, I died bottom. There's no reason to be down here. We can't win the lane because I died. Let's just go mid. Make sure Solo can't get farmed. I think it's the right call. I mean,. I, I really prefer the, the laning situation that you uh, talked about, Andy, earlier. The aggressive lane. Well, I mean, it, well, as we see, Phone 7 almost dying up top. Bottle away! Bottle away! So they going ham. Bottle away! Keep bottling! Wow, the battery assault still hit him with three range. Nice. Nice. Holy Stay crap, dead. the luck lord. There's not even one coming. They're pinging it. Everyone's like, hey, sneaking. Yeah, he Look at the mini-map. Sneaking. Look at the mini-map. All right, Sneaking, you're the champ. Sneaking? What? Sneaking, you're the best. Okay, you're the best. Radiant's top tower is under attack. He had him vote. But it's only level one. He's always. It's a bot lane. It doesn't matter. I would have killed him. Level one sun strikes, 100 damage. Fear damage. Yep. In the face. The knee. <laughs> the king may be not listening to his subjects as much as he should. I vote the king. Probably wouldn't listen to you, common folk. That's true. I'm really surprised that Bone 7 was that low in the first place, though. Was yeah. he like creep cutting and then just got a battery assaulted down or something? Or is he the contesting a pull, I guess? Rocket for us. Yeah. Oh, Sidori's not leveling Rocket. He is? It's 2 1 2. That's like standard build, I guess. It only does, what, 120 damage? Yep. The cool then gets so low, though. Yeah. Incoming! Incoming! I don't know. I feel like. The like Cloud9 are still fine. In terms of CS, uh, Bone7's still leading, even though he died. And Pilot Eye is going to get caught out here by Yol. Kind of in tower range. I don't think Yol's going to go for any like crazy dive. So he's going to get cold set out of the tower. Fraction going down. Still trying oh, to run away. The, the spirits, they're so close, but he can't actually get in range because Solo has boots. Yeah, and he had, didn't have mana for Sun Strike, so. Yeah. It don't matter. Dyer's but I, I, I think for what's worth, Cloud9 is actually recovering okay ish. Because this tri lane hasn't done much apart from that first kill. Fog, though, is going into a very aggressive position with Yo coming back. He's going to get caught out here with an easy ice shard. Snowball can actually lock him down as oh, well. Oh, Yo didn't see him. What? Oh, now oh, he, he does. does. Disrupt. The arrow is going to follow through. The disrupt didn't take the arrow. I thought. No, oh, on the board. He's just by himself aboard. I don't know if you want to dive under there. Here comes Pilot Eye TP. No stun just yet from uh, Eternal Envy. He's going to go on BZZ. The slow is going to get applied from the tender and the right click. Oh, oh no! Not the patch of trees that he attacks out of it, revealing his oh, position. Oh, that auto attack. Well, that worked out fine for Cloud9. 
Plus an auto attack after. I think they knew he was there anyway. Like level one leap doesn't go that far, and they could have just quelling bladed the tree. Yeah. Could have made some space, man. They made some space. That kill's pretty important though. Like oh, as soon as they missed no. the arrow, I don't know why they kept chasing. Like just turn around, you know. Like you need that stun to be able to kill. There was no chilling touch on anyone either. Like before they got there, so it's not like they were getting big auto attacks off or anything. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit over aggressive by Rock's kiss. Yeah, and again, something that we mentioned earlier about Tuscar is if you overcommit, you die. So well, well, he didn't die, but his teammate did. Yeah. Well, you as in your team, you I suppose. No right. Arrow is gonna miss again. They could actually make another go. In fact, they're gonna go right on the tank. Yes, guys. Disruption though, not really working out. That's the synergy that you were talking about. Now it's gonna be Envy getting blown up. Fog taking a ton of trouble as well. A couple more right clicks. No chilling touch on line dodge into fog. Nicely done. Fog, I might say. Oh, that, that was a really bad disruption. Yeah. Oh, oh and he died right. anyway. Just walked right into an ice shard. Not enough walking there. Highlight that is going for it. The solo kill. The right clicks. All no balls lead. hit. Up. Oh, he's got a launch charge, so. Okay. He actually got body blocked. <laughs> and then he Envy just takes walks the arrow. into the arrow. Okay. Dyer's I don't know what's going on, dude. Yeah, if that was AUI, they probably would not have messed up the gang. That's, uh, you know, playing with I, the same guy every day. I don't even understand why he would disrupt anyone there. Sidoi got solo killed by Bone7 in the top lane. Yeah. Good stuff for uh, Cloud9, but Dyer's top in that situation, is under attack. you can't even argue that disrupting Envy would have been a good choice. So why even use the skill at all, like at anyone? Uh, well, here. stuff happens, I guess. Go <laughs> fuck. It's fine. Walk it off. Walk it off, boys. Grab some dirt on it. Right, arrow's gonna come oh. through on the mid lane. Not gonna hit on anything. Twisker. It's got it out of Shadow you in, though. Maybe not with that new. Arrow. She's so small. Yeah, the vision radius is quite small. It's 150 range nerf. Calm down. Hey, yeah, man. But it's like more than 50. When they buffed mana void, 50 more range. Like oh, a black please. hole now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair, I got two extra kills because of that change. Really? Yeah, the 50 radius thing. In the entire time you play? Well, I only played AM like twice since the patch. Oh, that's pretty good then. Yeah. I'm just gonna make it eventually, so when you mana void somebody who's low mana, everyone in the map just takes damage. On the creeps. Yeah. So you just like mana it's void like a... mana void a creep and then like just find the map. The game is life. It's like camp. One neutral creep has the biggest mana pool this in the game. Sutter. Satyrs, yeah. yeah. The laser beams. So they have like you... five hundred mana, I think. So you would just think... find a, a Satyr in the middle of team fight. Let's see if I can find it. And then just like mana void yeah, the hell out of mana. Falcons are dumb, they only got 400. Oh, top lane, Bone 7 getting caught out. He's gonna even throw out the Dyer's panic wall. But unfortunately, attack. with a uh, high rank of battery assault and chilling touch, it's way more than enough to kill a Dark Seer. This tower is pretty low as well. Yeah. Would you say that Cloud 9 is actually advantage in a situation like this where the early game is quite passive? I mean, Dyer's it's 8 minute 8 kills, but. Denied. I wouldn't overall. say so, no. You don't think so? I, I feel like the team actually needs a bit of leveling and item. like. King as well as Invoker are very greedy heroes in the fact that they both need their Hanamitises. Yeah, but Rock's Kiss, you can pretty much say the same thing. I mean, look at PyCat yesterday for Team Dog when he was playing Mirana and had, like, no items at all. He just needed the levels, lined some arrows, had pretty good mid-game. TA, yeah, you want farm on it, but if you have refraction and high levels of meld and uh, psionic blades, you're still going to be able to do a pretty good amount of damage, like Sneaking is taking right here. You see me got a full creep wave under the tower. Pylai dies. Okay. Actually going to just tether in, but Solo's got a haste turn, so he's fine. He's gonna come back in right now, I think. Yeah, there's a refraction back up again. It's gonna go right on the wisp with the no armor. Very low. Maybe he side blade off the middle. Oh, Holy close. crap. That would That's have been close. so close. He would have died right there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the side yeah. blade. Yeah. Rocket's gonna come through. Not gonna hit. And bottom lane, Fog going deep. He's gonna get the kill on Yul. Now might be in some trouble. Gets hit by an arrow. BZZ going for the kill as well. Manages to secure it. Is he gonna go for. No, he's not gonna go. No, he's got reincarnate. And not worth yeah. the lead. Level six. I know. That level one reincarnation, getting rid of it is pretty big. I think. Well, if like you, six minutes. If you leap into tower, you get slowed, and you eating a tower. Oh, they shots. changed it. It's not six minutes anymore. When was it six minutes? Oh, a long, long time ago, I oh. think. <laughs> he has reincarnate. Oh, <laughs> he died anyway. It's fine. And oh. arrow to the face. No, you're not gonna die for this, right? No mana. Yeah. No one's even here. Yell's the closest, and he just got to lane. So you're saying that the heroes on Rock's Kiss needs farm as well? 
No, I'm saying they need levels. Like, a passive game, sure, like the heroes who need the farm. Oh, wow, they're actually gonna go for the dive. Snowball in, Fox here, but he gets hit by the snowball as well. Arrow to follow it up, that's a much better disruption. And the will actually, he threw his shards out when he was disrupted. So it's like, oh, gonna be off the mark. Soul Catcher's there. Fog's still doing quite a bit of damage. He wants to go for this kill. He's gonna throw out Ooh. one more poison. Oh, just barely dodged it. I think it would have killed him, actually. Yeah, yeah might have been close. With a Soul Catcher on top. Uh, Bone Seven also teleported in, but I think that was scouted. Uh, he's hiding, not gonna do too much. We went back in the middle here solo, just continually Radiance pushing the snake king off his tower. I do want to point out that uh, his skill build, he got two points into side blades, yeah. pre, pre seven. That's you generally what you want to do, and you want to try to harass with your side blade. It takes quite a bit of practice to, to get used to, though. Yeah, the, the big thing about side blades is that realistically, and pro games, you're gonna have a sentry in your lane, like from the other team, most of the time. So meld striking is not gonna be too viable. Plus, you have to get in range of cold snap to attack no matter what. Mm -hmm. And the closer you get, the more risk you're putting yourself at because you can walk into tower range accidentally, you can get hit by forge spirits. So having the range to just freely CS Radiant's on the wave and push it out because attack. if you actually side blade the creeps to push, you can push way faster than an evoker can. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Oh, so lucky. Yeah, solo. He's gonna eat the cold snap here. Pilai dies in the back. They're no, not gonna no go for the dive though. Radiant's yeah. top tower I think Solo is going straight. Attack. Actually, he's not even finishing his drums. You disappointed in him? No, I mean it's fine, honestly. Like with FaZe and uh, Yasha, you are really damn fast. Like the whole purpose of TA and why people get blink dagger is being able to get into a fight and assassinate somebody like really quickly. Mm -hmm. But if you're just fast Radiant's all the time and attack. you have a clockwork and a tusk to initiate for you and hold people in place. Uh, I don't really think a blink is all that necessary, especially when you're blinking into like a dark seer, shadow demon, cold yeah. snap. I don't think blink. Like, it's a... really scary. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I just going back to the point that I, I brought up earlier. I, I feel like Cloud9 is just getting away with something bigger because I, I feel that their heroes are much greedier in general. Just nothing is happening, which they're okay with. I, I guess Snake King is pressured immensely on the mid lane and Radiant's is constantly requiring help with shadow attack. demon as well as pilot die. Apart yeah. from that. I kind of see where you're coming from, but I would say that a passive early game would favor Cloud9 if I thought they were actually getting a farm out of it. But look at Envy, man. Yeah, he's not farming well. He's not farming at all. Like, he's got 30 CS on the 13 death. minutes. The two oh, they're going to go and go on the bottom lane. Here comes a relocate on top of that. There's a snowball. Four seconds of invulnerability, if you want to call it that. And he's going to roll in and die. But that was a five man reaction. Oh, well, two of them came for free on the mid lane, so it's. I suppose, still though. Like they wanted way more out of just that than getting Yul. Cool. You know? uh, arrow, that's arrow. Gonna hit a okay. Fog. Not gonna die here, or will oh, it? Ice Blast gonna come through. Need to self disrupt. Yeah, he will disrupt all Dyer's of that damage, but he still gets hit by the Ice Blast. Attack. Yeah, and the side play on top of that. There's no follow up because Relocate <laughs> has already been used. On the back line, you're bowling seven with the Zion Shell, but not much after. So they're gonna lose a tier one tower in mid lane. Oh, they see Envy. There's a hook shot. It cancels the TP. Oh. The arrow's there as well, and Rock's kiss. Starting to run away with this bottom lane. Should be able to get the tower quite easily. And I think the reaction is correct for Cloud9. They need to go down mid and push it hard. Here comes a glyph that will slow things down. And they also have Yo here in position. So one more TP is all they need. Unfortunately, Yo's not level six just now. He might get level six with these creeps on. Here comes Lost is coming. Oh, has a <laughs> suddenly cuts in. A wild bone seven appears, and Yo's just out of here. Yeah. He does have his uh, Wallace Punch now. Incoming Blast. I don't know. Here come in. Here comes the Snowball. It's going to go on both sides. Oh, Bone 7 will surge. He's out of there. Yeah. Maybe he lost vision of the other heroes. Maybe that's why he went on Bone 7. It was nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, they're not his tower, man. Got a pull hit. Mm -hmm. And denied. Dyer's middle tower has so been in the denied. end, it ended up being a tower trade, which is, I think, Cloud9 getting the tier 1, even if it is denied, is still a really good thing. Mm -hmm. Um, not losing your tier one is also very good, but they lost their safe lane tower. It, in the end, it's going to give a little bit more room to Envy to actually be able to farm a bit because he can kind of static the lane if he wants to for a while. And Rock's Kiss are going to need to bring multiple heroes down there if they want to kill him. Plus, now he has Reincarnate, so unlike some heroes who are relatively fragile, he can just stay there and feel extremely safe. But in the meantime, uh, Cedar gets his mech, so... If Rock's Kiss want to start pushing mid, or maybe even the offlane tier one, I think they definitely can do that. They have every one of their ulties, which are all actually on pretty low cooldowns, which is important to know. What would you get from Wraith King next item? Have you seen Blade Mail? I, mean, I think they actually need... Um, An armlet, maybe? I think they need damage. I mean, Soul Catcher is nice and everything, but the only follow-up damage they have right now is a Sunstrike and him, right? Like. 
You know. The dark you know what he's gonna, gonna get, right? The dark is gonna do a bit. What is he gonna get? Hundred Midas? Or Mask of Madness? Recovery Midas, man. I think Mask of Madness is a melee hero. I think Armlet's fine. Weaker. I think even a Blade Mail is fine. Mm -hmm. I think um, there's a few choices that he could go. If he wants to go Blink, I think it's a little bit risky for obvious reasons. Because a lot of teams, you can blink and die, and then your team is going to be able to win the fight for you. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. No. For Cloud9. And plus, you're not going to be able to run away from Rock's Kiss anyway, because you're going to have psionic traps, you're going to have hookshot, you're going to have snowballs, arrows, leap speed. Like, there's so many ways that they can actually chase you. Yeah. With that said, though, if you are dying and you do apply your reincarnation slow on top of a vacuum wall combo, like, that that can actually be pretty scary for Rock's Kiss. So, yeah, we'll look towards that. Right now, you know, if you look at Envy, he's hitting up to 1800, so Blink Dive is close, Midas is close. We'll see exactly what he chooses for. Roshan has you. fallen to the just like admiring E Sama bottom while Rock's kiss is killing Roshan. Uh, 16 minutes in, he has his power treads and his. Is he dick. gonna go blink? What is with his animation right now, oh, by the way? Okay. He did go blink. Alright, so he's like all in, man. All board the game train. Sort of like to see. I think going all in is always a bad choice. Unless you're holding pocket rockets. Pocket rockets are pretty good, man. Which, if you have 50 CS in 60 oh, minutes, yeah. not pocket rocket. What's the sneaking? Is also what's the pocket rocket? What? Oh, hook shot on sneaking here. He's gonna get caught out before he's able to TP away. And this is gonna be a free kill. Yeah, what's the pocket rocket? Double aces. Double aces. Yeah. Yeah. Like pocket cowboys as pocket kings. I'm a fan of pocket ducks. I lie die. Oh, Bottom lane, beast. here comes the blink. The boss and the beast. They're gonna be able to kill him. He leaped in for this, committed so hard. No, pilot die. The auto attack. Okay. Um, now you got two orange charge on top of that now. Easy. American lingo. What's what's the what's the whatever you just said? The cowboys? No. Pocket cowboys is king. The ducks. The ducks. The ducks is deuces. Radiant's top tower is falling. Oh, Fog TPing in. Very precarious situation. The Vacuum oh. actually takes him out of the fog. Fog's alive for the time being. Oh, never mind. Not for long. Snowball and a Walrus Punch. Here comes the relocate. Sedoi. Now going to be the one being focused. Sunstrike is going to hit. And Sedoi takes quite a bit of damage, but not actually dropping. Pylite Dive is actually going to go down in the back. Here comes the Ice Blast. Hits on Bone 7 solo. He does not actually have the Aegis, and he's going to be dropping here. Envy, still alive for the time being. Has enough mana and a oh, Chest Charge 1, but he bounces off two Cogs. He's not going to be able to go back in for another kill, but he's got the blink! Reviews. The blink, the snowball, and he's oh, more inside of it! He's got the out of play! He's got oh, he can't do it twice. Need a TP out. He's where's the yell. stun? Where's the stun? No, Wait, where's what? the stun? Envy? 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 He's got blink still. He's got blink still. Okay. All right, blink. And then... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, got him. Night traps. Look, when I said the better half the team you left... die as you lived. Dude, that was clowny. No, Envy, Envy made the big plays, man. By the no, way, that... man, guys, won the fight. Your clear is alive. Snake King will be fine as well. They're fine. The grand. That was so weird. It was really fucking weird. Like when that happens to you in the game. is gonna be a back back. Tether in with a big slow go black coming, eating the balls in the face. Easy kill. Well coordinated from Cloud9. I see that. What do you find funny in it? Oh, Sunstrike here on BZZ. He's <laughs> gonna be fine. He's got the cold snap, but nothing to hit him. Snap attack. Fine, man. Everything's fine. Let's forget about it. Oh, y'all. He's got a blink dagger, man. Holy cow, he's farmed. Oh, the rescue. The rescue arena blink dagger. Yes. This is so good, man. One person oh, gets stunned, blink snowball, pick him up, man. Dude, he didn't even that. need to blink that time. I think Envy's keyboard like malfunctioned or something. That was he should have killed them both. Yeah, he should have. Oh, here he didn't surge. He just didn't yo. See, yo, where's your blink dagger now? Dead. Super dead. So I guess Ion Shell with like spirits and soul catcher is actually a huge amount of damage on the target. Yeah, it, it, hurts, it hurts pretty bad. Like that TA just literally melted to the Ion Shell. <sighs> what do you mean? say literally so much. Oh, that's the joke. Like, Thanks to Andy. I, yeah. I have to say it every other word now. Literally. Literally every other word. Solo's got an invis here. Got his PKB finished now. Pretty big. Be following up. I die in fog, but I don't think he can go in because you can just still purge through the BKB and I don't think he'd be able to chase. He's still looking for it though, man. You could do a lot of damage to it. He's looking for the goose. 
Oh, there's a DD in the river as well. There's a DD in the river. Highlight it. Okay, he wants to go for Fog. Okay. Uh, probably not the right choice. Hook shot though. Sedoi's here to back him up. Alright, he's Fog. He's what super dead. That teamwork, man. Mm, that's cool. I think it's Sanjin Yasha on the TA. Sanjin Yasha? I feel like the slow is not necessary. I feel like Manta is always better yeah. on TA. Because a lot of heroes, you could argue, like melee especially, that SOY is better because the Manta can sometimes be detrimental to your positioning. Mm -hmm. But for a ranged hero, it's like, pretty much always get Manta. Like, oh, they're going to find Highlight Die, the Ice Shards, the Meatball, going to hit on Solo, doing a huge amount of damage. He's going to be forced to pop buyback. It's uh, double damage, just a bottom show. Yeah, Highlight Die wants to go back in. He beats the tier 2. They really want to defend this tier 1. And Bone 7 just dies here. It's a doy. Now trying to make his way out. So is DD. But oh no, he gets killed by the side blades. Solo, what a player. Still got that DD. Gonna pop the BKB after the purge. Unfortunately, he's still gonna be walking Radiant's quite slow. I lie die. Able to make it away for the time being. Trap put in front of sneaking. Are they gonna be able to follow it up with enough damage? So Doy also trying to kill die by the tier two. Hookshot comes off cooldown. They're gonna get him. Oh no, fog dies as well. The king is soon to follow. And long live the king, boys, because that that's a team wipe. Six kills, a buyback, a tier one, soon to be a tier two. The most important thing for Cloud9, in my opinion, is having your Darkseer in a position to counter-initiate. He was the first one to go down, and everyone soon followed. Because without your Darkseer, you don't have the defensive surge, and more importantly, you don't have vacuum to just... Or mechanism. Or mech, yeah. Like, you, you, there's just so much face rush from Rock's Kiz that you need all of that to be able to win a team fight. Fortunately, they had a big crew wave on the bottom for Cloud9, so... They don't lose in mid tier two because Roxas is going back to farm it. But uh, huge. Like they're not losing their tower, but BZZ gets a ton of farm. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> you can't you can't get everything. And I always get what you want. So I think Bone Seven should get up link now. Why did he even get caught by Sadoi there? Like he was really really low. Oh man, that's really weird. Well, there's two blink daggers now. So if they want to try to go in there, Solo, well, they're going to find Solo, okay. pops haste immediately, and the BKB, but he gets purged! They might be able to take him out here. Bone 7 and Pilot Eye coming in from the side. Ice Blast going to hit on pretty much just Fog. He is Solo so has got a really long BKB, though. The okay. blank up to the high ground, they're going to find him. Should be a kill. Oh, the hook shot in, the mech as well, but not enough to save, unfortunately. Now MP maybe looking for some more kills. Yeah, Solo buys back. He thinks the Tier 2. I think Cloud9 want to get the hell out of here. Snowball, disrupt. The they one stuck it in by the stun, they throw out the cold snap, Bone 7 blinks out of the disrupt. So if we still get oh, fight forward! Yep, alright, Envy wants the game here, that's a 4 man back, he will get a hit on 3 as well, so going pops the blade nail, really nice zoning cause, they put the Mjolnir on him, and uh, that's a reincarnate use there by Envy. Yeah, Envy says blink, he can go for more, in fact, I think he will, in fact, yeah, he's gonna go right in, the Sunstrike's gonna hit the vacuum, no, so cool, picks him back up, now Envy's in trouble, he does not have reincarnate, BCC getting focused, he's gonna survive, not anymore, thanks to the revoker right clicks, they still could chase, but they'll back off for now, so a big victory after losing the mid fight, and guess what? They're right in front of that tier two tower, which they could snag quite easily. Yeah, and y'all almost died to killing a necro book with Soulcatcher on. <laughs> like, did Rock's kiss try and force it too much there? I like, think so. Even though it, it felt like they had the high ground advantage because they were working with hills. Yeah. Because you had multiple blink daggers and people that essentially does fortified. not care. Like, like skeleton king, skeleton king or rave yeah. king. Like he just could re blink every single time. They're gonna try to fight for this tier two tower. Envy blinks this, but there's a BKB. He's gonna get. <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay. He should care if he does not have his ultimate, and he did not. Need to get out of there quick. Oh, blank oh. forward by Yol. He's going for the snowball. Pilot Die going to be the target. Ice Blast comes in, hits on Fog. Defensive disruption on Pilot Die. Just run. Yeah, get the, get the heck out of here. Pilot Die is like, sing the song of my people as he runs towards the enemy team. Fog oh. should be able to keep you out of here. Nicely done. Yol, unfortunately, sneaking That's the and slowest on down. walk I've ever seen. It's one Wex, man. That's a one wex. Get the heck out of here! It's always be like that. They just changed that recently, actually. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Before it was a um, static amount of move speed, but now it's like, once you get it, higher points in a wex, you just become a race car. Yeah, it's awesome. Bump seven. Bombing in. He's fine. So the big thing about that fight in the woods too to note is that Solo actually was forced to pop his BKB, got his haste dispelled, and then bought back without a BKB. Yeah. Like that taking that fight is really risky. And without BKB against Iron Show, like you are essentially just a walking melee agility. Oh, relocate on mid Goblack. Maybe staying is welcome a little bit too long. He wants to try to kill Fog, but he can't. You know, 
that's actually the first time I've seen Goblack on screen. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, like, he's just never been there. Just throwing out AA ults, man. Which, for A is actually the correct thing to do. Yeah, well, I mean, Chilling Touch is still really freaking useful. Yeah, it has a long cast range, though, so you're fine. Ah, oh, yes. Across the map. Yep. 10,000 range. Please Literally here. Zeus. Ooh. You can't run from Chilling Touch. Why don't they just make that ability hit everyone on the team? Chilling Touch? Just make it global? Yeah, just make it global. You lane them anywhere. Mid, mid AA. Just what creeps, are you make hiding, creeps? Yeah. <laughs> Your creeps are suddenly like mega creep status. Mm. Alright, so Solo has the 10th DD for this game. And they're gonna use it to kill Roshan. They're for the 12th time. Yeah. Pretty good. Frozen Sigil. That attack speed's slow, man. Yeah, so this is a new skill build you see from y'all. You got two on each Yeah, Sigil is so good against Skeleton King. Or Wraith King. To the like, how, how are you supposed to do anything when that thing's following you? Even through BKB, it's still slow as quick shot. Gonna be here on sneaking. Oh man, he is super dead. Oh, oh, oh no, it misses! Okay. That's oh, but they got the best. What do you have Take well, PZZ tried his best. This is a good game. A lot of battling. Well, we kind of knew that from the heroes. Like, these heroes don't passively fire. Really. die. Get out of there, man. No, he's, he's grand. He's not grand. He's right under a ward. No, Dyer's he's grand. No, he's not. Here comes the... Where's the tether? He needs a creep. Where's the creep? No creep anywhere. So that's going to give him a stun. Yeah. Well, punch pick him up. Punch him. And he's dead. Mew on top lane. He's going to be double clown nine TPs out of there. And if you look at Envy, he's going back for a play mail, so... I think Blame is going to be pretty nice this game. Apart from that one BKB from Templar Assassin, everybody is just throwing their bodies in there. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like putting yourself into the, the meat grinder, right? Like you just blink in if you have your reincarnate up, and if you don't have it up, you blink out. You should. Yeah, that's always like insanely farmed. Yeah. It's like 700 gold away from mags. Get that money. I think him being farm is one thing, and him being very level is another thing. Because these cogs are really killing everyone. Oh, they want envy. He blinks up. Oh, the ice shards, they spot him. Fight. Sniper Yol. Just fight it. I mean, the uh, ult's gonna be a little bit off, I think. Okay, oh. ice shard comes out. He tries <laughs> to walk into it. Yeah. Yeah. Tries to bait him. Here comes is his team ball. coming? His team is coming. Wait, no, I'm still I mean, they're doing a little bit of damage. He can always blink out of this. I mean, Bone Seven's coming. Yeah, he's so is Hogs. He just blinks by the way. with the fucking... Oh, and the hook. His team's coming, right? No, they, they no. failed on him. <laughs> Space. That's when you just say team in all chat. In there for like... I'm just laughing at you. Literally 25 minutes of being killed and not a single person shows up. Story of my life. Oh, my thing just turned off. Especially if one of your teammates have relocate, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, Pilot Eye wasn't Radiant's next to anyone. Bottom tower is under attack. Nah, man, you relocate in, and then you pick him up. You wait the 12 seconds. Oh, yeah, you're gonna relocate into the trees, I guess, and... Yeah, I mean, if it's a Wraith King, it actually will work for a Wraith King. Yeah, but they would see it, wouldn't they? No, you just yeah, go the very Radiant's deep into the trees, tower. and you just have to see it. They have rockets. They have ah, bulk. man, don't worry about they that. They have ball. Just believe. They have drops. Play Zen Dota, they don't doubt. <laughs> Stay calm and relocate. Yeah, yeah that's what we were doing last night. We were both really tired playing Dota. And just in this like Dota trance where everyone was just working. Dude, we had like the worst teammates. They were so angry. One game we had a puck where it was just like... He was mad. He was just really mad. And then the other game, this is the best part. He goes in the safe lane as Ember, as Ember Spirit. Yeah. And starts all chat complaining about why Clockwork's OP. Because he's a strength too. Well, Clockwork is OP, man. Yeah, strength hero. So High strength heroes are OP? Yeah, because they get so much damage. Then Spirit Breaker is OP. Breaker has insanely high base damage, base armor, base a horrendous HP. attack animation. Yeah, he like yeah. does the, uh, this uh, bad. Uh, Bruno, shall I say he's viable? No, that word is viable. forbidden. Uh, actually, I want viable. to... That's like some people hate the word metagame. Yeah. Bruno hates the word viable. Because it's such a... And he so, hates Venomancer. <laughs> Venomancer. So what should we use as a synonym for viable? No, th that's, that's the thing, it's an umbrella term. It's okay. like, can you play that hero? Do you want to stand under my umbrella? Ella, 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 Ella. Ella. Hey, hey. To go there. Lame has no idea. I heard that song before. There is a game. Yeah, there is a game happening. It's fine. I'm taking over, Shane. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know what I'm doing. I need some buffy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. No, so, so what Shane thing. and I learned is that when you play Zendo, you just don't lose. Oh, look, I, we, we were like two racks down. They all were super farmed. I'm like, 
I li we didn't have any Rexes. Like, it's fine. It helped that we were playing Medusa, you know? Well, which are, do, Andy was sitting behind me. Wait, what time did he get his Lincolns at? 27, 28 minutes. Yeah. Better than Havos is all I'm saying. <laughs> he got it at 20 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. The offlane Medusa. I went Midas into. Oh, the Midas Lincolns. takes yeah. that extra. Yeah, no, the Midas does. Yeah. Like, Havos couldn't even finish a naked Lincolns. Here to here first. Lumi now three. Havos no, four. Lumi five. No, but that's the wrong direction. <laughs> wrong yeah. direction, bud. It's fine. Everything's fine. So, Godblock's almost got his eggs. It's 500 away. Yep. We, we need to see a four staff coming out from Invoker. What is Snaking building? He, he has a four staff. Okay. Definitely. Literally built a four staff. All right, good. All right, now Lumi's, we need two Lumi's more. seal of approval, totally paying attention to what's happening. <laughs> no, it was the being Dota delivered, man. Star. It wasn't on him. I feel like you're just like not here. Never. I'm always here. Did you not? Physically, but not like mentally. Yeah. It's all right, man. So when I went Shereendinger, or how the fuck? How do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yo, blinks forward, steals the DD from sneaking. The hook shot's gonna miss though because of the snowball stun. Necrobook gonna be popped. That the punch is there. Did you see the arrow? It went like straight <laughs> yeah. up in the air and then down onto his head. Dude, but. the angles of those arrows totally screw with me. Yeah, that was really, really good play from y'all. Yeah. Is it is it Schrodinger? Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Schro Dinger. It's definitely not sure a donger or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but it was way off. Freaking Samsonite, man. You, know, you don't know what you're talking about, Shane. It's throw a ding back. <laughs> Just start adding syllables into it. Just like, it's way over your head, Shane. Literally can't even pronounce the fucking name of it. <laughs> We're having too much fun. I, I don't think that's allowed, guys. The fun level is getting too high. <laughs> Get that down a bit, boys. Everybody needs to stay calm and Dota. Are you watching about bots? Only like, okay. I mean, to be fair, it's it's a pretty solid choice when you're controlling the map as much as Roxkis are. I think Vlad's are pretty legit. A hero, like especially you. You only have one other hero. Yeah, but it's like uh, it's face damage. It's the armor, though. What do they need armor for? Oh, it's annoying, going deep. Can we go for Fog? Force, force that out. Force? Another force, the punch doesn't connect on Yol. He's actually stuck inside the base. Here comes the snowball. Spamoni, he's out of here already. Goes to the Force Spirit. Yeah, he's still going to be fine. That's he should have micro them Force Spirits. Yeah, micro them back in the base. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he actually realized what they were going to. You can see what it's pointing at. Yeah, but it's, it's Sphere. So really, like, you can see what direction it's turning, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the direction. Have you yeah. never been chased by a giant snowball? I've been chased by a giant boulder like an Indiana Jones. Yeah, drums. yeah, it happens too regularly. Anyway. Come out of nowhere, too. It's like they're huge. You would think you'd be able to see them. I was coming. just gonna walk down my stairs to get some breakfast in the morning <laughs> and there's this boom. giant fucking boulder behind me. Oh, God. All right, so what, what can Cloud9 actually do to get back in the game? They need to go oh, set. they can find Yol, that's for sure. They can throw the Hellfire Blast here. He's a fast, little bit of snowball yeah. action. Is this team gonna help him? So he's nearby, but I don't think, I think it's going out. He's like, yep. You were gonna I say some of those minutes. Dogs. 79? You can shut up. No. <laughs> no, honestly, they need just a bit more damage. Because if you look at their team right now, they don't survive long enough to dish out the damage because Rock's Kiss is dealing so Radiant's much of their own. I think if they go late attack. game here, I think okay. Rock's Kiss still I wins. I think we know the real problem. Goblack almost has as much farm as Envy, and Yol has more farm than Envy. Yeah. Should have won that Midas, that's all I'm saying. I think the Blink Dagger was the only thing keeping them in this game because they had that fight. Yeah, the they, they would have actually lost all their map control if he went Midas because yeah. that Blink got them like four or five kills probably. If not more, like, yeah. yeah. And a buyback and stuff. Like. I mean, I should have got him six, but Envy can't hit Hellfire Blast. So like it's a hard skill to use. <laughs> the skill should Relocate solo. on the top. Yep, it's going to be on Solo. Solo Manta's out. Yeah. But you don't get movement speed back. He's going to just fight his way oh. out of there. Here comes oh. the Lord, and Solo's going to be alive. The back is back in. 1v1 Arena with the wall on top. Sonor with the blade mail on top. Where's the stun? Surge him. Sun him. And... <laughs> Envy's just like, nope. I'll pass. We killed the highest damage dealer on the team. It's time to get out. We force a BKB, man. A win. Dude, that vacuum had to have been like max range. That was insane. He, was he got so like far away. halfway across the map. Going seventh Dota, man. That's, uh, no, it's not enough. Oh, it is now. Oh. Mm. Okay, sneaking. All right. You did your best. He tried. He did. 
I was thinking he's actually pretty farmed as well, 2600 gold. Mm. Hex soon. I mean, he is very farmed, but he Take needs, like, butts. the problem with being as farmed as he is right now is that he's still, like, 4,000 gold away from his next item. Oh, so the way, looking for pile I die. Not gonna find him. I sure it's gonna be off the mark as well. Go oh, Aghanim as well, it's pretty good. Or of BKB. course Shane says ba, like, guys, what do we need? We need more uh, damage. What is he buying? He bought something. Or stun. Did he buy and blank? then you suggest bots. He bought, uh, or, okay. what did he buy? So he's going hex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Sneaky. Not greed. Not, Not greed. greed. Well, I think that, um... Like, Ags would have been fine. Oh, Sedoi. Regeneration! Really wanted that and regen. It's off. And it's off. Will you get two rockets off from this regen? Yes, you will. Mm. Keep casting stuff, man. Just... Just cog. Battery assault. Cog hook your something. teammates. Yeah, hook Very your teammates. important. It's fine. And Miss Valley, top lane. Oh. Okay, why was Sunshine not there? This is, easy. this is not your happy place, man. Oh my god. Damage! Okay. Oh, oh, no, I don't happy place. No, I don't know. We just. Okay. No hook. Oh, yo. Yeah. That's like the fourth time in a row that they've just barely missed a TP out, you know? Yeah. That times. So Sneaking's going for a Hex, which means no Aghanims, so he's not going to be using a whole lot of spells. He's just going to be relying on Forge Spirits, Cold Snap, maybe Alacrity, and a Meteor, I guess. I'm surprised no one unlocks this with Medallion. Like, maybe y'all? I think it's pretty legit with their team. I just don't think many people on Cloud9 are going to have armor anyway. Yeah. But like, ne well, negative armor does so much more, then. Yeah, I, I mean, you could argue it both ways, but I feel like he doesn't really need it, because just between Meld and Desso, Mm -hmm. The heroes are already like in the negative, pretty much. Yeah, even more negative. Let's put them all the way in the negative. Go bigger. Minus nine. More ammo. Uh, this is Chez. When it comes up, what do we have a minute left on this? Boyo. Oh, yeah. yeah Why don't like they that. literally just put a clock in Roshan? Like, literally. Because it's not looking nice. It's, it's what people say on Reddit. A clock. You gotta make I mean, it look wait, wait, good. Wait, wait, you should be able to choose between a clock and this, this bollocks. Is yeah. what you're gonna say? Yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> Hieroglyphics. <laughs> Hieroglyphics. Well, uh, Envy eventually going to be the Lightning Lord. Which point he will do a lot of damage. Lightning based damage. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, snaking snaking might snaking, be in a. Please. A spot of butter. Get the king. The ice shards actually traps two here. Ice Blast is going to go out. It's not oh man. Pile I die and Fox is going to sideway down the back. Okay. Wall, though. Okay. Three, one, seven. He's got a BKB as well. Still fine for the time being. It's just not enough damage though. No one from Rock's Kiss really is low outside of Solo. He's going to get cold snap. Can they actually kill him? Looks like not. Hook shot on the sneaking in the back. He's completely out of mana. Doesn't even have enough to go. Squad arrow hits on Fog too. That's a buyback. Could actually be a dieback. Solo goes in with a snowball. Oh man. This is looking really bad for Cloud9. So they almost killed BZZ, but not quite. Envy just wants to get away so bad. I think that was like the third or fourth hook that was thrown that fight, by the way. Knee damage. That snowball was really fast, by the way. Not enough damage. Yeah. Like, there was only two heroes in his ult. Blue. Oh, that's true. Yeah, two gems, man. One for each eye. All right, buy back from snaking. So kiss that hex goodbye. Everybody's gonna back off. So base defended, something like that. Roche is up though. So oh, another back back. A spite vacuum. Oh, seven has got some serious vacuum walls in this game. Again, considering the team is charging at you. Well, I think the thing that's really important is like whenever a cog is dropped. To be able to into do that. Mobs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just disruptive to the I team because even if you can kill the cog with one hit as the clockwork, it still takes some time to like reposition, and that's the only reason any of the heroes on Rock's Kiss got low. Like without that, I don't even think a single Your hero would have dropped below like that. Though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, Clown Nine just had to play Rat Dota. Don't fight. Keep the waves pushed, and get farmed. Huh? Another double damage. So this is like double damage 204. But Solo's not gonna get it, man. He's like, eh, I don't need it. Fine. He sees it and he's like... The TA traps can hide the runes, He's man. like, I've seen better. <laughs> Depends on your screen. Maybe your second monitor, you wouldn't actually be able to see the DD. That monitor is so bad. Yeah, it really is. I can't, like, see anything on it. It's just, like, the color resolution. Right? Color contrast? It's one of them settings. Saturation. Yeah. That's, like, ultra high for some reason. And you can't fix it? No. I asked Trance and he couldn't fix it either. So if he can't, it's basically... Unfixable. Yeah. Literally a computer wizard. 
He only has a heart on Sedoi. Jesus Christ. What can yeah. he against that? Like? He's, uh, he's pretty strong. Solo coming in. Ice Blast gonna be thrown. Yeah, out of there, Blink. Oh no, he can't blink. Okay. Tornado, four snap out. And he's gonna be fine. Deafening his up too. This is like the please God, don't kill us. We're trying so hard to run. The Ice Wall's dropping, sneaking stuck on the other side. He forces into the enemy team. Or somebody forced him in to relocate though from Pylai Die. Okay. Gets him out. And Pylai Die is like, long live the king. Where is he going home to? Sing Tales of My Valor. He's not oh, going home. Jesus. Just hook. Get him out! Oh, oh shoot! I like that. What a player. Okay. Okay, Snake King. Please. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I feel like Snake King has had some questionable plays this game. Mm. Like the not sun striking. To top lane. Yeah. Yeah. Had it up for like 30 seconds. The creep was <laughs> following the guy. He couldn't have even turned around. He couldn't have juked because he would have yeah. died to the creeps. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, Dolo going to have on a tower, cutting off the mark, gets a couple of illusions. The way with the zoning cause, the block. I actually like that, like being able to cause that way, so the TA can hit the tower, and there's like, there's not a whole lot of area that you can surround to deal damage to him, right? Like, you have to fight him through a choke, more or less. Envy's pretty nifty. About to blink in, man. So he just runs like with the meatball. He's he like, sees yeah, it. Alright, Envy forces out the AP. He baits it. It was too twitchy on the, uh, the old fire blast. Yeah. They got a range rest for free, essentially. No back off for now. It's not for free, man. BKB charge. We're well, not know. talking absolute. You don't know, Bruno. Not talking in an absolute. It's just saying that it was a trade. The yeah, trade, Bruno. It, it literally doesn't matter. But the mana, though. Double, double. Yeah, man, cool <laughs> mana. Listen, man, I'm trying that, to like. That's a joke. I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, and you guys are both being wieners. Look, I don't like jokes, to be honest. We can't hurt I'm anyone's so feelings, okay? Reddit posts are made. Everyone tried their best. Everyone gets a medal. Yeah. All right, here comes the Blinken. They're going to go on BZZ. Tornado picks him up. Not the bottom, though. Vacuum in. The wall's going to be there. It's just not coordinated. BKB pop inside the cop. Goal 7. Get out of there. He's surging, but he's still inside. He's finally out there. And MB is trying to find him for what it's worth, which is not much. And the team fight is just going south. You know, trick the rush there. Run well, I mean, MB is up again. They managed to get the uh, Aegis on solo. They're going to be able to kill Yoli, who's stuck inside of the ice wall. It's a double for Zidoy. In the meantime, they'll piss off Fog. Range Tracks under siege, Jam Yolflinks in and snags it's Doi in the tier 4 tower range right now. Just puts back in, doesn't even care. He wants Pylai die so bad. What does the ball ever do to you, man? Oh, but they're gonna get an envy before he can even get back to base. And that's another team wipe. So Doi with a tripler. And BZZ didn't even have to use his cheese. And that's gonna be your GG call. Cloud9 can't do it. No, the Doi did really well top lane. Super well against that too. Yeah, he solo killed on seven. Well, they solo killed each other every time. Yeah, but he had a much bigger impact because he was basically killing all the supports, forcing a lot of ganks. And Envy, despite the fact that he survived in the bot lane, like we were checking his CS 